connected. I'm back. Sorry about that. Y'all there? Welcome back, Keith. Oh, thanks. Yeah. My, uh, one of our screens on the windows came loose. My mom thought the animals got out, so I had to go put it back on and make sure they were all accounted for. And were they all there? Yeah. Obviously they didn't oh, see the, the opening in their chance at freedom. Always good. Yep. So, um, while you were gone, um, they uh, managed to, uh, well, they took a short rest and your hearing came back, um, so you can do any short rest things that you might want to do. Um, they also managed to get the top off the sarcophagus, and um, inside there's uh, a lot of um, a lot of items in there, there's a bit of debate about it, I don't think they, they really wanted to um, take it. Um, I put it on the party sheet anyway, you should be able to see it and have a look. Oh, okay. How this will how this will pan out, I think, is if, if you take it, um, that's fine because the the items aren't sort of intrinsically evil. However, um, if it's sort of against your, um, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, then um, I will give you um, experience um, instead for uh, sort of role play acts. So it's up to you. Well, I do believe the ancients wouldn't mind me taking these artifacts from the evil. And since they're not inherently evil, let us equip ourselves with these so we can do uses against evil. Take it away from them. You won't be able to do good with them. The other two have um, gone AFK for a moment to get some um, drinks and the like while you were uh, okay. while you crash. So you can uh, argue about which things you want. Okay, so, sure. did you know the situation? Hello. Yeah, so you guys lifted it up and found all that stuff in there? Yeah, but we're debating whether or not we would take it because we're paladins. Well, I think uh, we should take it for <clears throat> our uh, church, as uh, if we leave it here, uh, the forces of evil will equip themselves with it. That's probably why the drow are here. They're probably raiding it for supplies. Alright, 
I will. I will. Okay, so who wants what? And then I think I don't know whether you can assign it yourselves whether I need to drag it across or I need to drag it across to you. Um, since you're more up front uh, in the line of battle with Zan Shaw, I think you should uh, take the chainmail and possibly the shield. Oh, that's right, you also use a hammer, don't you? Yeah. Ancients uh, would uh, like to see you, since you're in the heat of battle, along with the Zan Shal, to take those of which uh, will be needed to help defend uh, ourselves. So, are, are you sure you don't want anything, Zan Shal? I just can't see a paladin of devotion using something that belong to a dead guy coming directly out of this, this tomb. I just don't see it fitting for my character. You know, let me let me check my tenants, make sure I'm not doing something wrong, but I don't see mine being that way. see uh, any issue with uh, me or uh, Byron, but I do see an area in your tenants where I think you're getting it from. The Honorable Deeds. Yeah. Alright. So, Byron, um, I would say since you use wield a warhammer, go ahead and take that. Uh, and then since you're up in the front, if you want the chainmail and shield, go for it. All right. And I guess if Zonshal doesn't want anything, I'll take the rest. What's the mural do you dictate? I'm sorry, you broke up a little there. Uh, what's on the mural? Oh, in the uh, in the treasure, you mean? Yeah, what's the symbolizing? Oh, sorry. Um, the um, they were being the light little mushrooms, um, and they were being eaten by the uh, lizards and the the other room right at the end of last session. 
I think I, I, I'm not sure you've actually got them with you, to be fair. I think I just put them on the um, the treasure parcel, so... Um, okay. I'll, I'll delete them if no one wants them. And um, intelligence checks, please, um, everyone, while you're um, while you're here. Okay. Okay. You're not the brightest bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Strength slide other areas. So I've got about another half an hour or so. Um, I you can easily do some more. I think if you if you guys still up for it. Okay. Oops. So what were we doing? He was, uh... You can see the, uh... Oh, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. I, I was saying I'm good to continue for a bit longer if you, you guys are. I am. Yeah, I am. I can probably, yeah, go about half an hour as well. Before I forget, uh, Jay, um, if you're putting that armor on, you're going to need to go to your main sheet and that little magnifying glass next to your AC. And put a since you got the shield and the chainmail, you need to put a two in the bonus section to increase your armor class accordingly. Okay. See the corridor stretches off towards the north and there's a yeah, little a large front odd shaped room off to the side. Alright, um, well so we're gonna head up guys. Yep, sounds good. Oh okay. there's the two fiery portals to the bottom, but say uh, you've been avoiding those so far yeah, and following the Yeah, I've been burned enough. <laughs> okay, as you uh, make your way um, north a little here, um, you see through the darkness a pale drow that has burning red eyes menaces you from the corner of a sizable alcove in the western wall. Beyond the drow are three large frescoes depicting disturbing images. Demon arch filled with violet energy thrums to the wall to the east. Oh boy. And then Claude Mosaic uh, footprints run down the hall's centre. The pale drow with burning red eyes is just sort of um, standing there um, looking um, at you. I say greetings. It, um, it is head um, turned slightly and you see almost a st uh, slight smile um, across his face. I seem to peer straight through you. That sounds pretty wicked, brothers. <laughs> what, did uh, someone rip out your tongue, Drow? 
I'll say it in Elvish. He'll look at you and he, um, his, uh, his mouth parts slightly um, to open and he says, step closer, angels. All right. Okay. Like an <laughs> as, you, as you do so, um, you um, step. You see, you notice there's all sorts of funny murals um, on the wall here. Um, you can actually see behind him. It's like a big uh, mural painting, and, and it's got angels um, on them. Uh, some of them have been hung. Some have been crucified. Um, some angels have been um, disemboweled, um, and it's uh, generally a, a terrible scene of um, celestial torment. Um, as you step closer, he um, raises his hands, clawed hands, to uh, to attack you. Roll, roll initiative, please. Oh boy. Kalsiki, you're first to react. So you can see his form um, looks strangely um, translucent. You can sort of just make out behind him, the, the, you know, the wall a uh, bit behind him. Um, it looks a properly evil creature. Gotcha. I'm going to let loose my arrow at him. Your arrow strikes too, but it appears like some sort of force um, is uh, protecting him. Um, he does say it hurt him though. I say, be wary brothers, there's something more to this drow. He um, throws back his um, cloak and um, reveals two blades uh, on his uh, belt. Um, he pulls both of them out, two long swords. It's unusual so to have the skill to fight with two long swords at once. He steps um, closer next to you, um, Zunshal, and uh, sorry, Byron, <laughs> I'm so used to hit his Zunshal, and um, makes um, two um, sweeping blows towards you. Man, I'm sorry. It happens. Wow. Looks like a zone was right about getting that stuff out of the coffin. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's actually not a, a hefty a blow as, um, as damaging a blow as it could have been, but it just catches you um, on the temple, and um, you um, you fall um, down to the uh, down to the ground, um, unconscious for one round. So basically, you'll miss your next go, and you'll start prone the, the round before. Whoa! So I'm skipped, right? Yeah, however, um, you need to make a constitution save the, the blade that hit you is cold and um, rank with evil. Oh, wow. You know, no longer blessed, are you? Nope. You took five points of damage. Okay, this is nasty. You feel your life essence start to uh, drain from you. Your maximum hit point total is now five less. Yeah. 
This drive's jacking me up. Yeah. And did I hear correctly? So That's... Byron is down on the ground now, unconscious? Byron's unconscious, yeah, um, for one round. He just basically hit him around the side of the head and uh, knocked him down with one blow. It then uh, floats um, so down towards uh, zone shot. So this round I'm down, right? I'm not, I'm not conscious? That's right, yeah. In on me, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna attempt to use my divine smite with my long sword. How do I do that, Keith? Do I hold a hit with my long sword first? No. Uh, the only thing I see. No, uh, go ahead and hit and apply the effect to yourself. Apply the effect to yourself. It doesn't have an effect. It just has damage. 2d8 radiant. Yeah, that's the effect. It should be an effect. It shows a red drop. We'll try and try, we'll try, and, try and apply try it to and, yourself real quick. And and see if it works. See if it works. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll have to work with you later to, with to fix you that. Later to fix that. So I guess just do your attack right, so and then just roll attack. that damage on top of it. Roll that damage. Alright, does the 19 hit this throw with my long sword? It does, yeah, quite easily. Excellent. So there's 5 points of damage and... Whoops, it would just be the, the first... That 8 points of damage on top of the 5. For a total of thirteen. So you. Uh, oh, okay, you, you hit yourself. Hit yourself. Oh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Young Titan hits you. Titan. I hit myself both times. Uh. Oh wow, I hit myself for the drought actually. Drought, actually. Uh, <laughs> okay, fix that. Okay, that would have been 13 points of damage on the draw. You already got that? Okay, the okay. drow's uh, taking the damage, thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, that'll be all. Alright, I am going to let loose another arrow into this drow. And then I am going to move around and up to Byron. Excellent shot. Okay, with his twin long swords, he's now focusing on the uh, zone shot. One messy spectacularly, and the other messy spectacularly holding him up while well, uh, zone shot. Well done. Well, uh, zone shot. Well done. Nice. That's because I didn't still fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to uh, rise to my feet and use five points of my lay hands to remove the ill effects that are on me. I'm sorry, do I need to 
Um, there's something from you. He laid hands on himself for five points. Himself for five points. Alright, back on me. I'm out of spells and everything. I'll just swing away with my longsword. Another slash. Does a 14 hit the drill? Oh. It does, yeah. It does, yeah. 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 Well done. My max HP didn't go back up? No, it doesn't, I'm afraid. Though, um... Make me an intelligence troll. <laughs> You can all make an intelligence roll actually to uh, try and work out what's on there. I know exactly what's wrong with you. You do, you know, spot on. It's a life draining ability that it's got. It's an undead creature and it's uh, sapping your uh, your energy um, from you. Um, wh when it hits, it can uh, it's a constitution save basically, or it reduces the maximum your maximum hit points by how much damage it uh, is dealt out. Um, the um, your hit maximum hit points will return to normal um, after a long rest. Um, however, if you actually die um, from your hit maximum hits being reduced to zero, um, you come back as an undead. Don't fret, Byron. As long as you don't die, all you need is some some rest, and your wounds will heal. So it's not considered a disease then? No, it isn't. I'm sorry, it's just a life draining effect. Okay. Alright, so I'll draw out another arrow, launching it at the drow, and it wavers in and out of existence where it misses. Okay, the drow uh, continues its uh, vicious assault uh, towards uh, Sonshaw. Missing him, you're holding true Sonshaw. Nice. I'm gonna scream out uh, Die by Bion Chong Broth and charge at him and unleash my uh, vengeance upon him. And I'm going to use my inspiration for the Nice. Excellent. A solid hit. All right, for my, for the effect of my smite, do I put that on me or on him? Is it an effect, or does it have the red teardrop next to it? I have both. I have a red teardrop, and I have an effect. Oh, so just put the effect on yourself then, and then roll your damage, and then I'll add it all up. Oh, is it your divine smite? Mm -hmm. I think you could just hit the teardrop as well, it help.
and then hit that teardrop. <clears throat> I think I hit it too many times. It's okay. Um, okay, you, you hit him with a divine smile. Unfortunately, not um, as, as heavy as you want, but um, you can see, quite clearly see now he's bloodied. He's uh, he's, he's um, staggering. That uh, that really hurt him. That. Hold on. Alright. I'm uh, pointing my blade at him and shelling, uh, screaming at the dro that I mark him as my arch nemesis until such time as I finally lie, lay his body to rest. I'm using uh, the channel divinity ability vow of enmity, which gives me. Wait, is he within 10 feet of me? Yep. Okay. Which gives me. Uh, it gives me advantage for one minute when attacking him. That's awesome, brilliant. After which I will step forward and take another slash at him with my longsword. Okay, um... Okay, um, it tries to, it, it, uh, it looks it towards you, uh, Zornshaw, and says, um, your soul shall be mine, you will proclaim you to the realms of the undead, as it tries to plunge his sword uh, deep into you. Alright. But, but you managed to parry his blade to one side. <laughs> Nice. nice. I laugh in his face and tell him that the power of Zalanthiriel is stronger than you. As you're fighting, by the way, just as an aside, um, just, um, you notice that as blood is being spilt in here, the uh, murals, the tapestries behind you, the angels, um, you see them start to move and um, and the writhing in agony um, are, are on the picture. You can see the tortured, um, tortured souls being hung and eviscerated. And, um, it's a really macabre scene. However, Byron, sorry to interrupt you. Hey, you hit him. <laughs> so I lightly hit him. Still staggering from being a little tired. Well done, oh, Zone Shell. Well Zone Shell. Thanks. Ooh. 
You drive your long sword forward and plunge it straight through the uh, the, the drow's heart. Um, it um, looks at you um, angrily. I shall see you in hell. He says as he uh, collapses uh, to the floor and he just entirely disappears. Okay. I think we should burn this. Uh... Is it a mural or a tapestry? It is. I think we should burn this. I think we should burn this. That thing's pretty evil. They're painted, They're painted, um, painted, um, painted on the side. And the, the angels basically come to life as blood is being spelt in the room. Um, the angels hanging from gallows and chained to, chained to torture racks um, are now writhing and twisting in agony. I'm going to breathe fire on uh, the tapestries. Okay, you uh, you allow your um, fire breath and it um, scorches and the paint um, flakes off and you see the uh, the, the forms of the angels. Um, you can't see them anymore, basically, with the uh, painting uh, off there. We'll have to uh, definitely pick up that dagger, or it was a long sword, huh? That life draining sword. It had to, it, he had two long swords. Yeah, the the long sword itself isn't magical. Um, he was it was it was him who was giving the power to the sword. Oh, cool! I was like thinking we needed to destroy that. Yeah, I think we need to get you topside so you can get some rest. And I'll uh, uh, help uh, walk him through. I'm sure he's probably a little tired. Okay, folks, I think that's probably uh, a, a good place for you to... Uh, you did really well there, actually, with those, because it sort of built for a part of your four, and there's just three of you, and you stood up admirably. Stood up admirably. Nice. Okay, Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. 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 I'm going to award some um, XP for him, and some role-playing XP. Good uh, role playing going on today, so I'm going to give you all some uh, bonus X for that. Nice. And I'm going to give um, Zonshul um, a bit of uh, bonus um, role playing X because um, he um, was being in character and not wanting to um, take the uh, magic item, so I'll give him a little bit of uh, X from that. Great. like we'll be able to level in the next game, huh? That's what it looks like. Although the Zon Shaw may have leveled. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I think Zon Shaw has leveled. I didn't realize you were that close, actually. Um, I'm wondering whether actually, because you're all so close to just level you all, so it's quick and next session. Um, I'm gonna give you, I think, Because you're only sort of a couple of hundred off, aren't you? Um, okay, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'll put you, um, everybody else, up to exactly 2,700 for your for your level, and um, I'll put um, Zonshal on 3,000. All right. Thank you. 